I'm Jerry St. Pei. I'm a native of uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, but a lifelong resident of uh, Pascoola, Mississippi. Yeah, I grew up in the Ninth Ward of New Orleans, and uh, clearly by, uh, by the standards of, uh, of, of the 30s and the 40s and the 50s, uh, we grew up in a very poor environment. From the moment when I thought about what I wanted to be, I was for the most part in survival mode. It was always about what did I need to do at the time, at the moment. Uh, my father became ill. I had to help the family, support the family. I'm actually a, a high school dropout that had a second chance in life. I was working on a newspaper in New Orleans that in 1958 uh, sold out to the competition. With the help of, uh, of some friends and some mentors, I landed a job on a newspaper here in Pascoe. In its heyday, the Chronicle Star was uh, clearly one of the most progressive, most respected small town newspapers, not just in Mississippi, but, uh, but across, the, uh, across the, 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 the country. Paper went on to win a Pulitzer Prize in the early 1960s, uh, stood tall in opposition of those that were uh, resisting the, uh, the integration of James Meredith at the uh, University of Mississippi. I'm standing right now about where my uh, desk was back in 1958 brings back a lot of memories. I typed a lot of, uh, a lot of copy uh, on this old machine, and when I left the paper, uh, they had already moved to electrical typewriters, and I found it uh, in a back shop there and uh, asked permission to take it, and I, uh, I, uh, I kept it, and I, uh, one of my treasures. Covering the shipyard was, was part of my assignment, and uh, in the course of that relationship, I came to know a lot of quite a few of the people in the management organization, including someone who became one of my mentors later in life by the name of A.C. Skeeter Weeks, who ran the public relations department at English Shipbuilding. And uh, late 1960, he offered me a job to, uh, to join him in the PR department. Decided to take it. Uh, with the christening of each ship, we cast a coin that we gave out to, uh, to all the guests at the, uh, at the christening ceremony. And so these, these coins, uh, clearly are, a, if you will, a history lesson in ships that were built uh, by the company back in the uh, 60s, 70s, and, and the 80s. George Bush uh, visited our shipyard on several occasions. And of course, Nancy Reagan was a sponsor of the USS Ticonderoga. The, the, the shipyard uh, has always been, since its arrival here 80 years ago, a prominent impact on this community. Whatever credit may have come my way uh, during my 40 years of association with the shipyard, including 16 as president, uh, came my way only because of my association with Engels. But I do have an obligation to try to give back to the community and uh, trying to do that in, in, a, in a couple of ways. Uh, uh, serve on the, um, on the Chamber of Commerce, serve on the United Way of Jackson County. And so uh, considering uh, the blessings that I've had, uh, uh, if I live another 80 years, uh, I still will not uh, have given back a portion of what uh, this community has given me and given my family. I have two children. I have a daughter, Prudence Graham. She has two children, a grandson 13 years old and a granddaughter 22. My son, Lauren, is married, has uh, three uh, daughters, beautiful daughters, uh, two twins who are 16 years old and a 13-year-old uh, uh, daughter. Yeah, I've been married 55 years come uh, the first day of spring of 2020. I met her at a parade. I was covering a, a 4-H club parade that was assembling at a school campus in, uh, in Moss Point. I got there, it turned out I had the time wrong, so I got there 20 minutes before, an hour before the, uh, the parade was to assemble. She too got the time mixed up and showed up an hour early. So uh, we, we both had an opportunity to visit a little bit. Uh, uh, I made an agreement with her. She was a little embarrassed about driving the, uh, driving the convertible in a parade. And I said, I'll make you a deal. I said, uh, if, uh, if you'll go out to dinner with me tonight, uh, I'll, uh, I'll drive the convertible for you. Still living a life well lived. I'm Jerry St. Pei. This is my story in our Mississippi home. <laughs>